Portable air conditioners come with an exhaust hose made of thin plastic, which allows heat to radiate back into the room. By insulating this hose, we can eliminate the radiant heat and improve the cooling power of the air conditioner. It takes about a minute to insulate this exhaust hose by sliding it into an insulation sleeve and then we secured at both ends with uh, zip ties which are releasable so you can adjust it as you wish. This takes about a minute. This particular insulation sleeve is one that we use uh, and we call it uh, Kool-Aid. Many different materials are effective insulators. They simply need to trap the hot air inside the hose. Some people we've talked to use towels. They wrap them around the hose and secure them with zip ties or tape. Another product that's available is called batting, which is available at fabric stores, either cotton or synthetic. It's a little expensive, but it works well. Other people we've talked to use uh, bubble wrap, different size bubbles, uh, wrap several layers and secure them to the hose. A commercial product that's available is uh, tape, which reflects heat. It's adhesive on one side and reflective on the other side. Uh, a larger version I just dropped on the floor again is adhesive on one side and reflective on the other. Uh, one of the problems with this is that it is pretty stiff when you're all done. Another product are called duck sleeves comes in different diameters. This is a six inch diameter. Uh, the inside of the sleeve is fiberglass and you cut the edge of the sleeve, wrap it around the hose and secure it with duct tape. Um, it's a little bulky. Some people don't want fiberglass in their house, but it does work well. We use something uh, which is recycled paper, uh, cellulose, many layers, 10 layers in all, and it traps the air well. And the final product is a plastic sleeve and then the cellulose insulation and then another plastic outer covering which is cleanable and it's flexible and lightweight. Here's an example of why this is a good idea to insulate your hose. Uh, we have set up and running for about three hours now an air conditioner in the bathroom blowing cold air into the bedroom. And the bedroom's temperature is about 70 degrees. Uh, the air conditioner and its hose is in the small bathroom and the bathroom's room temperature is just over 100 degrees. The outside temperature today outside the house is about 95 degrees. The uninsulated exhaust hose is 114 degrees. <clears throat> and over time, that heat radiates into the room and raises the temperature of the room. While the bedroom temperature outside, where the old cold air is being blown, is right around 70 degrees. That's a pretty clear demonstration of what the problem is. Uh, to show the benefits of insulating and not insulating versus not insulating, we have two identical air conditioners, one with an uninsulated hose and one with insulation. Uh, the room temperature is right around 80 degrees and we're going to turn on these air conditioners. First, we're going to check the surface temperature of the insulated hose is about 80 
and of the uninsulated hose is also, well, I guess it's 81 because some outside temperature from outdoors is coming in and heating it up. So here we are five minutes later and we'll take the readings of the surface temperature of these two hoses. Uh, this hose, uh, the reading, it's not insulated. The reading is 116 degrees. Uh, the insulated hose right next to it uh, remains at approximately room temperature, which is uh, 83 degrees. So, so there you have over 30 degree differential in the surface temperature between these hoses, um, showing the benefits of insulation. So I hope this overview has been helpful. Insulating your exhaust hose is a good idea no matter what material you use. It increases the cooling speed and efficiency of your air conditioner and it saves energy as well.